it is time to take my resistance bands training to the next level. So I decided to buy a bar and hook up my resistance band. So let's take a look at the new setup. Now for my new resistance band setup, I went and bought what's called the InStar resistance band bar from amazon.com. And with that, I bought two triangle links as well in order to hook up my loop bands because I've been testing with both the loop and tube style bands to see which ones will work best for my training. So essentially the InStar bar that I bought is a way you can hook up those bands and then you can use it to provide a lot of resistance in your training. Now, this is very similar to the X3 bar you might have seen in ads all over the internet, but I wanted to try this out for myself, see if I could get it a lot cheaper than $500, and if it would actually work in my home workouts. Another reason I really want to go with the resistance bands bar is because I'm not a big fan of using handles and attaching them all the time, and when using loop bands and even using it with gloves, they put a lot of pressure on the sides of your hands um, or even your feet when you're standing on, but especially with the palms of your hands. And when you put a lot of resistance against your palms, it can really start to mess them up quite a bit. And it is very, very uncomfortable for me to use. So instead just holding a bar in my hands is a lot better and I can lift a lot more resistance doing it this way. In past videos I have made, I've gone over that I really like resistance bands for my pull style exercises. This would primarily be your rows, deadlifts, or bicep curls, but I found that this allows you to easily get in pull movements where it might be harder to do it otherwise. You might not have something like a pull-up bar or dip bar station, and you can tend to get bands for quite a bit cheaper than buying those outright. However, you will find with the loop bands, they are pretty expensive, especially if you're getting some of the better ones that are out today. But just know they are excellent overall, and I will be comparing a few of these for a future video to see which one works best with the bar. So I purchased both the bar and the links back on January 24th of 2021. At the time of purchase, the Instar Resistance Bands bar was $54.90. The stainless steel quick links, which again are the triangle links I attached to the ends of the bar, were $12.85 each or $25.70 total. And after factoring in Texas taxes, the total came out to $87.25 for just the bar and the two links. This is the price without the resistance bands, which if you buy tube style can be as low as like $30 to $50, and the loop style bands, which range anywhere from more like $70 to $100 or more dollars. So again, I tend to like the loop bands for this setup as of testing early on, I'll get to that, but just note the price ranges can be quite drastic, but with tube style, it is a lot less resistance than you can get with the loop style bands from initial testing. So what I received on my doorstep a few days later was the Resistance Bands Bar, which is again a 38 inch bar by Instar, and then the two links. Now I made sure that the bar I bought could withstand a lot of resistance, so this bar can withstand 800 pounds of force, which is quite a lot in comparison to others, and the little triangle quick links that you get with it can withstand something like 13,000 pounds each, which is just ridiculous, so I don't think I'm breaking through that anytime soon. So with that, how do I plan to use this bar in my training? First off, I'm going to attach the resistance bands to this bar and really focus on getting stronger at my strongest point in the lift. If you've ever read the book by the guy who created the X3 bar, I'll put a link in the description, but I went through a little bit. I'm not sure how much I really agree with all the stuff he talks about in there, but he does have a lot of studies and a lot of information. But one thing he does cover is that you can really have a lot more force at the strongest part of your lift. So I'm gonna focus on really getting that part of the lift in the strength curve a lot stronger for many of my bigger lifts. Also, because I'm working out from home and I'm really not building a full size gym, it's just trying to keep uh, the limited equipment I have to fit in the closet while getting in a good amount of resistance. I need to find ways to get as much as resistance I can while saving on a lot of space. So this is a great way to do that. So for my initial testing, I will be using the following three bands, starting off with the under sun resistance bands, which is a set of five orange bands that you receive. And I did finally reach out to customer support and replace the X small band, which snapped only a few weeks into my actual training. So I finally got that fixed and yes, 
Customer support with this company was excellent and fixed it very quickly, even if I took a long time to get it done. But just know that I will be focusing on that being my main one I'm going to, because I think that will be the best one, but I have two others I'm going to test as well. And the next resistance bands I will be testing are the wad fitters loop bands. So another loop style bands, just like the undersun. However, this time I've noticed in just initial testing, these bands are way, way harder to use. So if you're someone who really can lift a lot of weight with bands, go for it. But I literally can't even use probably three of the five bands themselves for many of the exercises. I might get away with deadlifts for a lot of them, but I, I get to like the third or fourth band and I can't even do deadlifts. That's how crazy these are with my current setup. So I will, again, probably be going with Undersun for this, but just know I will be testing the water fitters bands as much as I possibly can. And last up, and the one I was least thrilled about actually in my initial testing, is the What If It Resistance Bands. Now for tube style bands, I've actually really liked these pair. They're very cheap, they've held up for a very long time now, and I've used them for a very long time, but it's time to move on, put on more resistance, and these just really didn't cut it. I was able to deadlift all five bands at once, and it didn't even feel as hard as the heaviest band from the Undersun. So I don't see this lasting very long, but I might as well test it anyway and see how it goes. Also fitting all of the carabiners on the end of one side, so all five bands at once, gets a bit crowded and hard to put on. So just know that is one big deterrent on using it. Yes, you could hook up the triangles as well, but it does have circles on the end where you can actually hook up um, the clips or the carabiners on the regular tube style bands. So there are five major exercises I will be focusing on doing this with, and I'm actually updating it in my training program over at GamerBody.com while it'll be good for this video. Depending on when you're watching this, this might have changed, but the five exercises are as follows. First up, and probably one of my favorites for resistance bands with the bar, are going to be deadlifts. Next up, and probably the most awkward to actually use, will be front squats with the resistance bands. It's just a little hard to get into proper position, but I'm going to test it out and see how it goes. Moving along, you may know I don't really like to use dumbbells for things like overhead press after shoulder issues in the past, so I'm going to try and see if these bands work better for standing overhead pressing. Next up, we're going to, again, one of my favorite style of exercises with the bands, and it's going to be rows, both bent over rows and seated rows. And last up, we have the good old chest press. So I'm going to actually be trying to do both the floor chest press as well as standing um, and see which one I would like to have in my training, if not both. Now with that, let's jump into my first impressions after just trying a few things with the resistance bands for the first day after unboxing it. First off, and probably the most important, is this Instar bar can withstand and use a lot of resistance and force. So again, you get 800 pounds here to work with at the maximum. So I don't see myself getting there anytime soon, but who knows, right now I don't feel like the bar is even budging when I'm using it, so that is great. For the attached quick links, which again are those triangle links I'm adding to the bar, I've noticed that they are pretty noisy. Now luckily, in my new place in Texas, I'm actually not next to my bedroom, so like in California, when I had the Yes For All dumbbells, they are very loud and clunky, so they couldn't really use them in the morning. But now I'm a few, uh, or one room over, so it's not too loud for the bedroom, so I can still use it now, which might mean I go back to the Yes For All, we'll see, but just know I'm gonna be using them even if they are a bit loud, but if you're in someone right next to maybe your bedroom, you might want to look for something else. Also, these quick links I have noticed can fall off the actual bar itself, so what they have is a little, um, turn where you turn it right to close the whole triangle or turn left to allow an opening to put the band through So just know if you leave it fully open They can just kind of fall off when you put it down But if they're if the band was actually in it and there's tension on the band There's no way this thing's falling off It's just when you're done or you go into a position where there's slack in the band They can come off the loops at the end of the bar also, with the two bands, you don't even need the actual triangle attachments. Those are only really needed for the loop bands. But just know if you're going to be using all of the tube style bands, they do take up a lot of space and it almost didn't fit all five at once. So just know the little loop at the end isn't that big. So if you have more than five bands, it might not actually all fit. And so far in testing, I've actually really enjoyed using this. So again, I've done some of the big major lifts um, today as I've shooting this video. I actually had my workout, so I was able to get in some of the lifts themselves. I found that front squats are a little awkward at first to do as well as overhead pressing because um, you have a lot of force pushing back down on you that you don't have in the initial part of the lift. So it's a little awkward at first, but I'm starting to get used to it. I think my nervous system is starting to catch up. So I hope to start improving with the lifts overall and see how um, much it can improve my overall home workouts. 
And one other thing I'd like to add is a floor plate. So again, when you're using the bands, just like when using it with uh, the loops in your palms, there's a lot of pressure being applied here. So if you're standing and the bands are under your feet, especially if you're not wearing shoes, you're going to be putting a lot of forces on the outside of your feet, pushing in, which could cave in your feet and cause a lot of problems later on, especially if you're using really heavy bands. So I am looking into things like floor plates, similar to what the X3 bar has, but something like that that I can use. Right now it's still on the market, but it will be something I'll probably add later on. So with that being said, that is everything I've purchased now to test out with my loop bands. I'm pretty excited as the initial testing and the bar feel great. I actually love the grips on this bar and the overall build quality of it. I think it came out very, very well. And for something that's just over $54, that's not bad at all. So again, I'm really excited to try this out and then get out my 30 day to review to see what it's all about. And then especially look for that floor plate to enhance my training even further. All right, and that is it for my video on the Instar Resistance Bands Bar with the quick links and how I'll be using it in my upcoming training with my resistance bands. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe to GamerBody for more videos just like this one. Also, make sure you head over to GamerBody.com. There you can check out my current home workout program, the equipment I own and use, and the information I'm learning from to continue to build muscle and confidence all from the comfort of home. And that's it. Again, like, subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Be fit and game on.